Hey guys, this is TechX, and today we're going to be looking at uh, revisiting the Tron XY P802M. If you've seen my channel before, you probably remember that's the 3D printer. That's the 3D printer I use, um, and it's actually a really is a it's a really good printer for I, it's like 150 bucks, so it's a really good printer. It's a really good printer for the price. Sorry, don't. Um, you guys can check that video out, which I'll link in the description. But it also can go down to, I believe, 0.05 millimeter layer height, which is a super fine quality. Again, this is going to take a while, but I'm going to try to push it and see if we can go a little bit lower than that, and also take a look at see seeing what the 0.05 millimeter uh, high res looks like. So, just as a sample print, I'm going to be looking. At, uh, I'm just. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a Star Wars fan. So if you aren't, sorry, but this is just a test. So, so uh, I had to type in a little different search, but I'm going to be printing the uh, Star Wars Star Destroyer. I'm going to be going for a high-res version. Just, again, trying to see how, how high quality we can get this print. So this is one by, excuse me if I mispronounce your name, but Nikolai2803. So, go check him out. He looks like he's got pretty cool designs on here. Um, and I'm just going to be printing it out with a bunch of support material underneath. So let's download it and get it on the bed. So, oddly enough, this file that I downloaded is called 12344555. I don't know why, so it took me a little bit to find it, but I finally found it. So... Looking at it, it's a little bit bigger than I want to print it. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to scale it probably down by again by 30%. So now I don't. If you guys aren't familiar with how to make it, uh, how to adjust the millimeter height, layer height, excuse me. All you have to do is you go into configuration. You're going to scroll down, and you hit this little plus button here. This adds one. You can see I already have all of the all of the layer heights here, but this is going to be this is the these won't be here. So you're only going to have a 0.2 millimeter layer height. So what you have to do is you have to hit add, and we go 0 0.004 millimeters. So that's so you don't for the first for the layer height you want to make sure that matches the name and. The base, it's kind of hard because if you don't, if you want to have, you don't want to have a super, uh, super thin base so that it doesn't grip to your bed, or it actually prints above your bed because of how thin it is. Um, then you're probably gonna want to add, you're probably gonna want to make it probably about 0.2, and that's as far as I would go. Um, so you just your first layer, which is gonna be um, probably just a bunch of support material, honestly. Um, that's probably what this is going to be. So I'm just going to print the first layer at 0 0.2 millimeters. I'm going to go the rest from there. So I'm going to save. So I actually had to, I, I actually had to move out of this tab here, and I had to go into go into like object placement, print preview, just again something else different than this, so it could load. And then now I can go to 0 0.4 millimeters. Support type. Do we need to add support? Yes, have to add support up there. So you can see this tiny part up here that sticks out and over. You need to add, make sure you have support everywhere. I'm going to try to print this at about 40, 44 should be good. Infill, about 15%. And slice. So here's the Star Destroyer. Looks pretty good. The detail is pretty nice. Um, I, one thing I didn't like is, so I had an, I had an infill of, I believe about 15%. So you can see here, since it's, since the squares are larger than the, the really thin, fine line of material can cover, it just kind of, uh, it, it messed up the bottom quite a bit. So that's one thing I wasn't too happy about with, um, the, I, I don't know exactly how to fix that except for increasing the infill. Um, but looking at the overall design here, let's see if we can make that a little bit clearer. So you can kind of see, you can kind of see uh, the details are a lot more intricate here, especially up front, the 
back's pretty intricate. Again, the only problem is it just it kind of messed up a little bit because I didn't have much support material in there. But overall, the quality of this is it is pretty good. Now there isn't as much shine to it because of um, because there isn't as much there more of the material was melted in order to be able to make the same height instead of instead of say like one line where it could have been a little less material they had to use maybe like five lines or something like that in order to be able to make up the same amount so there's so that it had to melt more of the material meaning it lost some of its gloss so that's one thing I don't like too much about it I also went ahead and printed a Luigi figure this guy's pretty good turned out decent again um, some got some stringing and some other problems here and there that that's kind of hard to fix but it's, again it's really hard to show you guys but the like compared to something that's printed 2.2 millimeters um, you can definitely see the lines here you can definitely see those lines but as on something like Luigi here it's a little bit it's a little bit it's a lot harder to see the lines so it's it's a lot more smooth a lot more detailed the face definitely came out a, little, a lot better I mean so when I tried to print uh, 0.4 millimeters the it didn't turn out that great so printing 0.4 millimeters probably isn't the best unless you have something that you really need to be super high detail but um, yeah I, I would probably stick to something like uh, 0. Um, one five. If you really need something that's fine, I would definitely stick to 0 0.15 or 0 0.1 millimeters layer height. But 0 0.2 does does a decent job. So, why don't you, if you guys can mess around with that and let me know what you guys think. Um, if you have any other suggestions for future videos, that would be great. But for now, enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, see you next time. Bye.